Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, it's good to be back. Another edition of 3D Boxing uh, Quick Hits. I uh, got a good one to get into today. A little controversy. Dillian White is out of his fight with Otto Valine due to an injury. We'll get into it. But before we do, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, just to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Uh, all proceeds uh, from that channel go to autism research and recovery. So please help us get that up and running. All right, guys, let's get into this uh, this news today. Um, Eddie Hearn has been asking for quite some time to make the um, White Fury fight. He's been very open about it. Um, and now, out of the clear blue sky, Dylan White. Dylan White has a shoulder injury, and he's out of the Valine fight. Um, Eddie Hearn's been unable to deliver Dylan White a world title shot for many, many years. Uh, many, many years. He's never got him a fight with AJ, uh, when they, both on his own stable. Um, he's trying to get him that shot now. Um, he, he he said it publicly. He he wants to make the, the white fight, even though White was committed to fighting Fury, uh, committed to fighting Valine. Um, and he didn't seem to care about that. Now it's an injury, guys. If you believe that this is an injury, I got a bridge to sell you. I I got some oceanfront property in Arizona to sell you. Um, this is ridiculous, right? Like, look, I I I think White washes. Alien. I do. I think he knocks him out quick, makes quick work of him. Um, five, six rounds. Five. five I'm, my official prediction. I'll say five. I think White wash. You know, White White washes him. <laughs> White washes him. White gets rid of him. White White destroys him. Um. I I I don't see much in Bailey other than being tough. All right, big and tough. Like I I I don't think he's a high level heavyweight. Um. You know, I think he's a middling heavyweight who gets beat by good heavyweights. I mean, White's a good heavyweight. Um, although, look, White's got leaks in his defense, obviously. I mean, it's clear from the Povetkin fight, he can be hit. So, I mean, it's not like White is perfect, but he's a good fighter. Um, vastly improved. And they lean's promoter, uh, Demetrius Slita, asked to see medical proof, medical evidence of this injury. And he's waiting on it. He's been waiting for a long time. <laughs> Eddie heard me <laughs> going to the, Dr. Nick from The Simpsons. Hey, Dr. Nick, can, can you say there's something wrong with uh, <laughs> with um, with Dillian White's shoulder? Hello, everybody. Right? I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, I mean, look. <laughs> His shoulder's bad. White shoulder's no good. But in 30 days, mark my word, what is today? October 20th. Before Thanksgiving in the U.S., right, they're going to be pushing for a uh, Fury fight. But a, but a shoulder's injured. Like, which one is it? Are you going to fight the heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, with a bummer shoulder? Right? Or, or is your shoulder no good you can't fight Otto Bailey? Like, which one is it? You're, they're going to say his shoulder was no good then... But it's okay now. That's what they're gonna say, and that's ridiculous. He thinks he can make this fury fight. I don't understand why you can't make both, right? Unless you think um, they lean is trouble for White, which I don't think he is. I don't see that. Um, unless you you think that, unless you think. Wait, uh, Valine spells trouble for Dillian White. I, what do you got? I, I don't, yeah, Valine almost knocked out Tyson Fury and almost stopped him on cuts. That's an indictment on Fury. 
<laughs> that was a terrible performance by Fury. That's not a, that, that's not a credit to Valene, who's not that good. Like, he's not terrible. He's 20, 25, heavy, he's somewhere on that list, you know. Um, but he, Dillian White is five, six, and you know, in a, in a heavyweight picture, five, right? Um, yeah, White should beat him. It's that simple. So I don't understand. Just make the fight. It's a decent payday. It's a good card. He gets a knockout, and then he fights. Fury only fights once a year. Like that, White would get rid of him, and they, and they can fight. I don't know March. What's I, Fury's not going to fight before then. So what's wrong with that? <laughs> but the shoulder injury. This is what like. So this is a a, a legitimate eliminator fight, right? Uh, White was in position to fight for a title, then got knocked out by Povetkin. I guess Eddie don't want to roll dice again to get he got knocked out by Povetkin, get knocked out by you know, get knocked out again. Maybe that's it. Maybe he thinks he can, but what I'm saying is you, you're pushing this fight off for no reason. Dillian White's not gonna lose to Otto Valine. Okay, Otto Valine is not terrible. But he's not that good. Pavekin is light years better than Dillian White. You just watched Pavekin. I, I know Pavekin stopped him. I get it. Things happen, right? Rockman got, you know, stopped Lewis. What happened in the rematch, right? Like, things happen in the heavyweight division. I would be pretty confident if I was Eddie Hearn that they could beat the aliens. So what, I, I don't understand why you can't do both. Do both. There's no injury, guys. There's no injury. There, there's no bum shoulder, Okay. There's, there's, there's no bum shoulder. That's ridiculous. There's no medical evidence to suggest that, right? This is – and he should be sued, honestly, right? Like, if I'm Otto Valine, I'm suing. I'm Demetrius Salida, Valine's promoter. I'm looking. You better give me evidence or I'm suing you because there's no reason for this fight not to happen. A week out, a week and a half out, fight's next week, next Saturday. There's no reason for this. The fight can be made. Make the fight. And I don't, like, Fury's not going to fight in the interim. Right? Like, Fury's got 30 days to negotiate with Usyk. Not fine at getting made. They ain't, they ain't reached an agreement. Remember how many times Fury wilded it too? They went to negotiations, got pushed off, got pushed off, got pushed off. They finally went separate ways. We didn't get it. But, look, there's no figuring out Tyson Fury. If you're going to sit back and try to psychoanalyze Fury and, and, and rationalize what he's thinking. He's an irrational person. You're not going to make rational sense of what Fury's thinking. Um, I, I'm out of words. There's no shoulder injury. I don't understand why they're not making this fight. You can do both. It's not, I, it's not an either or thing. It's an end bolt thing. Like You can fight Valene next week, knock him out, and then next, and, and then next fight next year, March, why not? Um, fight Fury. Fury's not going to fight again in that in, in that time span. So, thoughts, comments below. Let me know. Let me let me know what you guys think. Um, remember, quick hits comes at you twice a day. Uh, comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Keep updating the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Remember, to subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is October twentieth. Uh, 2021, Ivan Calderon is still on the box to call fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.